In this video, we'll be going over all the awesome tips and tricks, some new hidden features for the latest TV OS 13 on the Apple TV. Now the unit that we'll be using in today's video is an Apple TV 4K version, but it should work exactly the same on a non 4K version. Now that Apple TV Plus is available, I'm sure there's a lot of people picking up the unit for the first time. So let us begin with the very basics and work our way up to the more new stuff. So let us start off with the controllers, hidden features, and some tips and tricks you could do on this thing. So by now we should already be aware by tapping the menu button it's going to take us back on whatever application we were navigating on. But did you know you can actually press and hold the menu button and it will take you back to this menu. Bypassing the need to actually tap on the menu button multiple times. But if you want to you can also reprogram the TV home button instead of taking you by default to back to the Apple TV menu. You can actually change this into the main menu where all the applications are. If you want to go ahead and change this, simply just go into your settings, go in devices and remote, and right here you could toggle between the Apple TV or the main menu. Now if you feel that the touch surface tracking touchpad is just a little bit too quick for you, on the same page in the settings, here you can actually adjust the speed. Right now I have it set to slow, I think this is the appropriate speed in my opinion. Now double tapping the TV icon on the remote will actually activate multitasking. And similar to like an iOS device, you can actually use the touchpad to actually scroll and select the application you want to go back to. And if there's an application acting funny, you could also swipe up to force shut it. Then if your unit is still acting funny, if you actually hold down the menu button and the TV icon for a few seconds, it's going to force reset the Apple TV. Now if you want to turn off the Apple unit by using the remote, simply just hold down the home button on the television, then select sleep and that's how you turn off the unit and it should also automatically turn off your TV if your TV supports it and tap the menu button, it will turn it on as well as your television. Back here on the main menu where all your applications are, if you actually tap on the menu button, it will actually enable screensaver mode and you can actually use the touch bar to switch between other screensavers. Right now, this is the current one that's available at the moment, but later on, or your unit might also have other ones because right now, for some reason, I'm only stuck with Los Angeles. But yesterday, I had like four other ones to choose from. So by now, you should be hopefully familiar by pressing and holding this, Siri will actually begin listening. And then once released, Siri will stop listening. But some of the most useful commands to ask Siri is you can literally ask it to launch an application, a movie, you can ask TV shows, or actors, you can also ask Siri general questions, but the most useful ones is that you can actually direct Siri to skip to a certain part of a video, so 30 seconds ahead or go back a minute or two. Now in case you don't have your remote on you, but you have an iPad, an iPhone, or even your Apple Watch, you can actually use these three devices to control your Apple TV. In order to do so, simply just bring down the control center on your iOS device, as an example, press and hold this, and select the Apple TV icon and right here if you tap on the remote there's your remote and basically does the exact same thing like the real remote. This eliminates the need to download the Apple TV remote application on the App Store. Now for the Apple Watch it's a little bit tricky but still works. You just have to launch the now playing application and tap this little blue icon and then go down use the crown wheel and select the Apple TV. Tap on the remote and basically this is your remote. Now in case you're left wondering why my Apple TV menu is different, might look different than yours, with the black dark theme background, this is a new feature that they integrated for tvOS 13. And if you want to get the same theme, to change this, simply just go into your settings, go into general, select appearance, and select dark. Or you can leave it on automatic, which will change throughout the day automatically. Now back at this menu, if you want to change it even more, you can also rearrange the applications. Just hover over an app, long press on the touch bar, and then they start shaking just like it would on an iPhone or an iPad. You can rearrange the app however you like, or you can also put the apps right on top of the little toolbar right here, your favorite menu I'll call this, and you can stack your favorite applications right here, and these are always going to be on top. You may also hover over another application, it's going to also automatically create a folder. Now you may be left wondering how do you delete these applications, it's a very similar process. Same exact method, just simply hold until they start wiggling, continue holding it, and then the pause and play icon will pop up for more options, tap on this, and here you can not only create your own folders, but also delete them, 
or delete the entire application. And then if you have a pair of Apple AirPods or even Beats that support this very similar feature or even a HomePod nearby, you can redirect the audio source from the television to those devices. For example, if we hold down the little TV icon on our remote, go down to the AirDrop icon, take out a case of AirPods, open it up nearby, AirPods should pop up, tap on them, and you, you simply just connect it just like that. And now you may enjoy listening to your content without disturbing anybody around you. And if you're connecting with AirPods Pro, you'll be glad to know that transparency mode and the active noise cancellation works just as well on the Apple TV. You may also do this exact same feature while watching a video. Instead of doing that, you simply just slide up on the touch bar and select audio. Do the same method with the AirPods and you can connect just like that or guide it to a pair of home pods and don't worry if you don't happen to have a supported device that supports airdrop like these generic headphones bluetooth headphones you could simply just go into your settings go into devices in the bluetooth you're able to pair a set of headphones by simply placing the headphones or the device on pairing mode and it should pop up right below here under discover devices now apple arcade is new this year for the apple tv it allows you to play some popular iOS games on your Apple device. So if you're subscribed, the best experience is when you actually connect a gaming controller, either a PlayStation 4 or an Xbox One you could pair with your Apple TV. If you want to connect either of these two controllers, it only supports these two controllers by the way. But on the Xbox One, simply just hold down the X button until the controller is powered on. Tap the synchronize button, wait for the lights to start blinking. And back here in the Bluetooth menu, you should be able to see it and select and connect. For the PlayStation, you need to hold the both the PlayStation button and the share button at the same time until this light begins flashing and you should be able to see it under Discover Devices. Now in case you're watching the video and you want to add captions to the video that you're watching, it's very easy to do so. Simply just swipe down and right here you should be able to see subtitles. Select whichever setting you want and there you go. If you got something on your iPhone or even an iPad and you want to mirror to the Apple TV, it's very easy to do so. Simply just bring down the control center select on mirror sharing, select the Apple TV device, and there you have it. It mirrors everything off your iPhone or iPad to the Apple TV. You may also do this on your Apple computer as well. To set this up, if you haven't yet, simply just go into your system preferences, select displays, and down here where it says AirPlay display, hit the little drop in menu, select the device. So right now our Apple TV is in our bedroom. And there you have it. And then on the computer, you not only have the option to mirror everything off your display, you can also have this as an extension display as well. Now for these final ones are gonna be revolving inside the settings. These are gonna be settings that I would recommend to adjust to give you a better Apple TV experience. Located in the settings, in the video and audio tab, double check if you're using the appropriate format that matches the resolution of your television. Now another thing I would recommend to also go in and change is if we go back, see where it says match content have both of these on so it can deliver the same frame rate quality as it was originally produced to give you the best picture quality still at this menu another thing i'll also recommend doing is perform the wireless audio synchronized tests what this allows you to do whenever you have a pair of airpods connected or another device you're streaming audio to it will actually utilize the microphone off your apple device like your iphone and will actually listen to both devices and the iphone will adjust the latency so to, it will eliminate the latency issue whenever you're streaming audio with a bluetooth device now if you have multiple apple users in your household you can actually set different profiles if you allow them to actually add their accounts to the apple tv for example if you tap the little home button if you hold on it you have my profile right here if there's more people you can select to others this way you can each listen to your music that you have on your apple music to add more users, simply just go back in your settings, go where it says users and account, and you can just simply add it here and just follow the unscreened instructions. It does require the host to actually enter their password first in order for them to actually be added. Another thing that I will suggest to also do, if you actually are subscribed to a cable provider, make sure you have it paired and synced right here. This way, some of these applications will actually automatically sign you in as you see, I already have quite a few. And there we have it, folks. That was all the cool new 
hidden features, tips and tricks to really enhance your overall experience with your Apple TV. Now, if you want to find out other popular tips and tricks videos I created, check out this video. Uh, these are all the tips and tricks features about the new AirPods, the new AirPods Pro. And then this video over here, that is a video that YouTube is recommending specifically for you. They think you're going to like it. Are you? I don't know. Give it a shot and let me know in the comments if YouTube was right. But thank you guys so much for watching. Take care and I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.